Imagine the universe as an immense spherical mirror. At the center of this mirror lies the singularity, a point where everything comes together, tightly wound into an intricate interference pattern. It's like a swirling mass of overlapping images that are hard to distinguish individually. Surrounding this singularity is another reflective boundary called the event horizon, like a bubble encasing the singularity. Our universe, as we perceive it, lies on the event horizon, a vast holographic screen projecting what's happening inside. The singularity contains all the information that makes up our universe, every particle, every beam of light, every thought and every moment of time. It's like having all possible snapshots of reality, the entire film of existence stacked together, all the picture frames overlapping. When Hawking radiation interacts with the vast surface of our observable universe, it spreads out quantum states via entanglement, allowing this information to become perceivable. Hawking radiation, formed from two entangled virtual particles, projects these quantum snapshots from the singularity onto the event horizon, similar to light passing through movie film to display images on a screen. This projection turns into a hologram, with each bit of light creating straight lines on qubits and the angles of these bits of light containing information. Here, geometry and information are truly two halves of the same coin. Hawking radiation is like a double-ended light needle. At one end, there's a virtual particle with negative energy inside the black hole. And at the other end, there's a virtual particle with positive energy that's positioned on the event horizon. These two particles are linked together by quantum entanglement, a connection so strong that what happens to one particle is instantly mirrored in the other. The virtual particle within the singularity moves up and down along the interference pattern like a tiny bobber on the waves of a chaotic ocean. It's the essence of quantum entanglement. When one particle is spin up, its entangled partner will be spin down, perfectly mirroring each other in symmetry. The singularity and event horizon are like two mirrors, one deep, complex and condensed, and the other spreading everything out in a way that's easier to understand. The event horizon, the holographic screen of our universe, is made up of qubits, tiny units of information like pixels on a screen. Each of these qubits holds quantum state vectors or QSVs which represent different properties of the universe such as velocity, probability and gravitational curvature. These QSVs projected from the singularity onto the event horizon tell us everything about the universe forming the fundamental code that defines our reality. All of us, every person, every particle are part of this projection from the singularity. Each one of us, in our entirety, is mirrored from that singularity. This means that everything, including you and me, have a holographic mirror image stored as an interference pattern in the singularity. The choices we make, the actions we take, all ripple through this connection, affecting not only our mirrored counterparts, but also the entire entangled holographic web of reality. Picture a reflective sphere surrounded by a glowing surface where every bit of information is captured and projected outward. Our universe is this incredible holographic projection, encoded on the surface of a cosmic mirror. The geometry, the light, the information, all of it works together to create the reality we see, hear and experience. And in every part of our lives, from our thoughts to the stars above, we are living within the projection of that infinite, mysterious singularity. And we, each of us, are part of it, an inseparable reflection that is both the observer and the observed bound eternally to our counterpart in the singularity. In the grand dance of the cosmos, we are not just in the universe, the universe is within us.